Now, sir, what excuse have you for having disobeyed an order of the Court of Chancery? I know no Court of Chancery. I go by nature's acts of Parliament. The bees, the trees, the seas, the rocks, the brooks, the gales, the vales, the fountains and the mountains cry, you love this lady. Take her, we command you. Tis writ in heaven by the bright barbed dart that leaps forth into lurid light from each grim thundercloud. The very rain pours forth her sad and sodden sympathy, and with chorus nature bids me take my love, shall I reply, nay, but a certain chancellor forbids it. Sir, you are England's Lord High Chancellor, but are you High Chancellor of bees and trees, king of winds and prince of thunderclouds? No. <laughs> It's a nice point. I don't know that I've ever met it before. <laughs> but my difficulty is that at present there's no evidence before the court that Chorus Nature herself has interested herself in the matter. No evidence? You have my word for it. She bade me take my love. Ah, uh, but you mustn't tell us what she told you. That's not evidence. Now, <clears throat> an affidavit from a thunderstorm or a few words on oak from a heavy shower would be met with all the attention they deserve. But have you the heart to apply the prosaic rules of evidence to a case that bubbles over with poetical emotion? Distinctly. I have always kept my duty strictly before my eyes, and it is to that point which I owe my advancement to my present distinguished position. <laughs> Went to the bar as a very young man, said I to myself, said I. I'll work on a new and original plan, said I to myself, said I. I'll never assume that a rogue or a thief is a gentleman worthy implicit belief, because his attorney has sent me a brief, said I to myself, said I. There I go into court, I shall read my brief through, said I to myself, said I. And I'll never take work I'm unable to do, said I to myself, said I. I'll never trash and I'll never disgrace by taking a fee with a grin on my face. But I haven't been there to attend to the case, said I to myself, said I. I'll never throw dust in a juryman's eye, said I to myself, said I. Or hoodwink a judge who is not overwise, said I to myself, said I. Or assume that the witness is summoned in force, and it's check a queen's bench, common pleas, or divorce, and perjure themselves as a matter of course, said I to myself, said I. In other professions in which men engage, said I to myself, said I. The army, the navy, the church and the state, said I to myself, said I. Professional license is carried too far. Your chance of promotion will certainly mark. I fancy the rule might apply to the bar, said I to myself, said I. 